look at the sky. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Tell me there's not a God. I mean, seriously. For real. In the dark, around the world, rare color rippled across the sky. A rare ore was reflected back. This was the strongest geomagnetic event for more than 20 years, accounting for the vividness and variety of color, including the unusual pinks and blues. And the spread of the aurorae, far from their usual polar latitudes. This was southern England. This was central Germany. What happened during the last few days, there is um, a system of very complex sunspots that came together and formed a huge active region of the sun. And these are extremely active in the span of a day or a day and a half. They launched, uh, I believe, something like seven coral mass ejections. Those huge bubbles of gas sent charged ions racing across space and bumping into oxygen and nitrogen atoms in our ionosphere, delivering an extraordinary display and for the planet's magnetic field, a powerful assault. What's most concerning now, though, is that we live in the 21st century where we have ex exponentially increased our reliance on communications and um, other technologies that are in space and on the ground where electrical interferences can actually disturb it from this geomagnetic storm. And that's something that we're watching quite closely right now. But what about those who weren't watching on Friday night? Will they get a second chance? It may well not be visible as far south as southern Florida or even northern parts of Italy, but well worth giving it a go. And don't forget our friends down under. The southern lights, or Aurora Australis, may well be visible once again across the southeast of Australia and much of New Zealand. Experts say the main, most powerful eruptions from the sun have already hit. Saturday night's encore isn't expected to be quite so intense. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.